trying a different type of video here. We're going to send these out to Kendra. Then they're going to get, get graded by CGC. But I want to show what condition they're in prior to going to Kendra. And I do believe this book was pressed before. But we're going to have Kendra have, have a shot at it. But it's not in great condition. I, I bought this off of a YouTube auction. And unfortunately, these guys do seem to overgrade a lot. I I find that out a lot from 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 YouTube auctions, you know. Um, some guys I trust, but some guys that I still buy from them. But yeah, the grading is not there. But I kind of like when I bid, I bid based on what I've gotten from them in the past. I mean, a lot of these guys are really reliable. But um, but maybe they're not so much great graders. All right, so this one, in my opinion, now I counted the pages already, and I'm not going to do that here because I only have one hand. The back of the book looks beautiful, and that's because... That white kind of hides a lot of stuff. So if you're looking just at the back of the book, you would think that this is in the near mint. But as you can see from the front, not so much, right? There's a lot of wear on that top. A lot of wear. So I think sending this out to Kendra... Even though it is a newsstand, all right, but still, it's still going to be a, uh, I would be happy, I think the grade, as of it stands right now, if I were to send this out right now to get graded by CGC, this is probably about a 6 to a 6.5, in my opinion, so... Let's see what Kendra can do with it. I don't think he can do much with it because I think this book has already been pressed by someone. There's a lot of discoloration. And um, that top, you know, the spine is not that bad. The spine itself is pretty good. But that top, that, that really, especially that right there, really worries me. So, leaving... My possession as a 6.5, I would say 6.0 to 6.5. Let's see what it comes back as. New stand. Books are back from CGC. Spare you the opening of the box. This is the new stand. I paid $216 and change for this book. That's including shipping. Because the seller... I got this off of um, Sands Auction for sure. Sellers uh, said, I believe he said it was very fine to near mint. It was not. Uh, I said it would leave me at a 6.0, 6.5. It's still, obviously, that edge is not going to change. But Kendra got me to a 7.5. Look, this is going to be easily uh, at least a $100 loss, without a doubt. Now, the seller that got me this, I've gotten good books from him in the past. But this time, not so much. And then that, that's the cost of, you know, doing business. I, I, I would have kept this. I was thinking... If it was very fine near mint for real, maybe I can get to a nine four nine two, and it's it would be worth taking a shot at a two hundred dollar book. That's why sometimes it's better just to hold the book in your hand so that you could see the actual flaws. If I would have went to a convention and saw this, I definitely wouldn't pay probably no more than. A hundred bucks for this just to take a chance, not even maybe 80 bucks for it, maybe because of the condition that it was in. 
but because of the seller, I thought it would be a good shot, especially if he's th if he's th saying it's very fine near mint. But uh, I was wrong. Now, this is a massive loss. This might be the worst loss out of the entire 25 book lot, I'm thinking. But there's more losses in there. But this is the first one. Either way, though, Kendra did get this to a 7.5. And believe me, I thought this was no more than a 6.5 leaving me. Um, so it does look good and that uh that special label right does look nice in it and the good thing about books like this and i'm and this is what i'm trying to do now is just trying to pick up books that sell like a book like this sells no matter what even the nine eight will sell for around 600 but guess what that's seven five it'll easily go for 150 buy it now not auction okay easily so I'm not worried about it. Um, a loss, took a loss on it, whatever, dude. Here's the here's a good one, a good one because it's already graded 9.0 by whoever sold it to me on YouTube. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blast them, okay? But is this really a 9.0? All right. All right, so spine, you can see right there, a little color breaking tick. A little bit of wear right there. Not so bad yet, right? Another, an, another color breaking tick right there, even though it blends in with the cover. The top, it's actually, this one is in better condition, in my opinion, than that last one, which was the newsstand. This one's a direct, obviously. But this has a lot of um, pressable defects. You can see it up against the light. That is, that can all come out. Now, here's one thing that I noticed with this. Whoever owned this, the kid tried to trace Spider-Man. See, they, they, they try to trace that hand. They also try to trace here, try to trace the spider. That needs some cleaning right there. But overall, I think a, a press can do this really good. The back also has some defects that can be taken care of. Like that right there. Those are pressable. Little dirt on the corner, see? Pressable defect right there. Little dirt. I might go over this with a... Uh, with an eraser before I send it out to Kendra, but I gotta have these packaged tonight. See that little fold over there, but it's not color breaking. Overall, I think this is in better condition than the last one. I think that last one was a 6.0 to 6.5. This one, probably, a, I would say around a seven, as it sits right now with a promise i mean this had this this has big time promise with a really good press multiple presses and a good and good cleanings yeah i think this can um this can can it get into the nines it's definitely not a 9.0 this was overgraded at least in my opinion four grades because at best to me this is a 7.0 as it stands right now at best so let's see what it comes back as the rec version is back right away i went right to the tracing job that the kid did and for the most part is it's i would say 90 
95 to 99 percent gone you can still see a little bit of trace elements there just tiny amounts but say on the arm and around the body it's mostly gone so the the press did work this book really had just too much wear on it for for it to to get to a 9.0 which was what they said it was it's in better condition than the other book was the uh, newsstand but it came back as in an 8.0 i thought it left me at a 7.0 and then th this is how you you know that pressing books you know it's the right thing to do man because it does make them look better more presentable this is a book that people like to have in any grade really they just like to have this in their collection there's a ton of them out there right but people still want it so uh this is going to be more of a wash the uh pressing and the slabbing all together for the 25 books and only a small portion 11 of them got the uh special labels but all together it cost me uh 44 dollars and change I'm going to call it 4450 to get them slabbed and pressed uh including shipping to CGC um technically to Kendra who then shipped it to CGC. So this will be a wash. This one I paid around 100 bucks for it. So so far with two books uh I'm still down, all right? But uh it was worth a gamble, you know. Again, I can't stress this enough. It's much better to hold a book in your hand and be able to evaluate it and see what condition it really is. And, you know, hopefully see what condition you might be able to get it in. And then you name your price. When you buy books off of uh, YouTube auctions, you you don't really see the condition of the book. You're trusting the seller and what they're saying. And sometimes you hit it big and sometimes you don't. These first two books, yeah, it was uh, definitely uh, 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 not good. But it gets a little bit better than this.